Uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of the Legacy of the Vikings. Yeah. So guys, everyone, I got a couple things to talk about now that we have kind of slowed down and I am back after... Really what I'm saying guys, I haven't played this in like for a couple days, so I'm kind of going to refresh myself. And the best way to refresh myself is to say what our future plans are, which I conveniently wrote on a note card. So first things first is we should deal with this British problem. now. I did notice this last episode that there was a British like outpost and they were actually trying to colonize this place but I didn't really do anything about it last turn because I was just like oh my gosh I'm so tired and I didn't honestly think there was much land back here that you could actually colonize. Lo and behold there's like an entire entire like 48 provinces or something crazy like that back here and so it's actually very important that we stop the British from actually ever getting into America. Um, so, my original strategy I was thinking of is that I just try to colonize around them with really cheap colonies, but as I looked at my finances, I don't think we could handle that. <laughs> I think we would honestly die before we would ever be able to, you know, make a dent into all this, and it would take too long for us to colonize and just, it caused too much problems. Plus, I'm already extending myself pretty heavily right now with doing three colonies right now. Three colonies, that's a lot. I mean, I still have to do Mantotech and Colony and all these other places. I mean, it's just a lot, so I don't think I'm going to do that. But I came up with a different strategy that I think would just, which I think would just work as well. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to colonize. Once these guys are finished, I'm going to try to colonize the Akatarpa or whatever this is. And then once that happens, I'm going to try, I'm going to invade the Cherokee, invade the Cherokee up to right here, and then from there, I'm just going to try to colonize around the British. So they can't actually get any of the good land. That I think is going to be the ultimate solution to this problem and will make me an immortal god. Yeah! <laughs> nah. But seriously though, I think that's really the best solution we can do to make sure that we don't get the British to uh, get really, really good land back here because honestly, I don't want them to get all this. And what else? Yeah, I think that's basically it on the whole English part. Um, what else? We are, I was also talking about a war with Swahili. I figured out a way to do it. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask France kindly, once, once they are a little bit less mad at me, to uh, give me access to base fleet, fleet rights. Um, you know, I will have to disclude one of my, uh, um, diplomats for this, but I think I will probably delete this one right here because after looking at the alliances of the Teutonic Order, yeah, they have an alliance with France right now, and right now I don't really want to, uh, yeah, like, if you guys can see. Oh, my here, alliance is France. Yeah, they have an alliance with France, with Lithuania, Livonian, and the Hansa. That's basically everyone that is right next to me, and everyone that could pose a threat to me, so I'm not gonna go after them. That'd be just a stupid, stupid, stupid idea, so, yeah, we're just gonna keep them in the, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep them in the after mindset, but I plan on conquering a lot of these guys at any time soon. But for right now, seems like not, not right now, just not right now. So, anyways, I'm gonna send some to improving relation points to go improve my relationship with France, France, and then from there, I'm gonna use their colonial reigns to colonize on uh, Nempovai, whatever this is, and then from there, I'm gonna then just go and go invade Swahili just outright with my good. Do I, do I still have my? Uh, Colonizer, yes, John Norby, yes, the guy who has conquered the Cherokee, the Huron, and the Aztecs, he'll also be the guy who gets to conquer Swahili. Dang, this guy deserves his own, like, history book, seriously, if he lives this long, so, anyways, there's that, but, all this sounds really great, doesn't it, guys? Like, we are really pumped up for these wars, aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? Well, there's a problem with this, and that's the problem is to deal with our stupid Regency Council. Oh gosh, I am so mad at this. All my rulers died so suddenly and so quickly that we have to have a new ruler come into power. And he's six. He won't come into power for at least ten years, so literally for ten years we're just gonna be relaxing and doing almost nothing. I mean, we're just gonna be playing, I mean, we're basically not gonna be at war, which means I can't do a lot of what I want to do, but I can at least like uh, do a lot of diplomatic stuff. It kind of, it really does kind of seek that we're kind of 
um, stuck in this situation right now where we can't really do much. So let's just let time fly and see what we can do. And I have a couple, I have a, um, a good amount of money I can spend right now. So let's start doing that. Uh, unique buildings, special buildings, post office, local trade power. <laughs> let's put that, let's put that in the capital, seriously. I could get a lot of trade power in my node if I do that. And anywhere does not have temples. Does all my main old land have temples? Good. Let's actually start putting our new world. Let's start getting our new world to temples. And does everyone have level 2 forts? Oh, not right here. Let's get level 2 forts right there. And does everyone have level 2 forts? Even right over there. Okay. Yes, it seems like everywhere in my empire has level 2 forts. That's good. That means they will not get instantly conquered by me. Alright. Uh, what else do we need? Some dry docks would be nice. I don't really have that many dry docks, so let's just start, like, expanding my dry dock business. St. James! Alright, let's do that. Do that. Start expanding new Stockholm. You guys will also be able on. Finney, so big. Alright, there we go. I just have a lot of money now. And let's begin! Okay, yes. All that expansion should help me out with a lot of things. And my, I gotta admit, I think I have the second biggest manpower in the entire game. And shoot, one of my colonies has been damaged. Which one? This, I can't really deal with that right now. I really do need my colonies to kind of grow, so... You guys, go crush the natives there. I hate doing this. I honestly hate doing this. I play... Oh, great. I honestly hate doing this. I, this is like the worst part about this game, is that you... Is that the only way to... Is that the only way for this to actually go right? You're gonna have to go like go destroy these guys. And I hate it. I really do. I don't like destroying natives. It's one of those, you know, just morally unjust things. So let's see. Did I already kill them all? Yeah, it wasn't even really a fight. And then Kakuta. They almost destroyed all my people here. So I definitely have to destroy these guys. And there we go. So now that colony should, these colonies should be able to expand and thrive without me having to do anything. And now we can just like, relax and not do anything. It's important that we invest in forts, seriously. I mean, honestly, we really do need to invest in forts. And right now, we also need to kind of get back in our mid-share tech group. Because we are, we are so behind in this. <laughs> like, it's not even funny. I mean, France is up to 17, 17, 17. We're up to like 18, 18, 18, which is kind of stupid. And all these other stuff just keeps happening. Um, let's see. Uh, missions right now. Gosh, we've had this conquer conquest of Espinosa for so long. You know what? Just cancel it. We really don't need this mission anymore. It's been like years and we still haven't gotten that much headway on it. Um, what else? Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I got everything. My force limit's up to max. I'm still a Protestant. I could convert to a different religion. Heck no. <laughs> I just got the Protestantism. I'm not going to just destroy that that much. And get more forts, of course. Of course. Alright. And right now, I'm proving a relationship with France is going good. Good. Let's see. How much do we need before they would give us request free playing access rights to the forts? Let's see. How long would it take? Well, actually, we'll just increase as much as we can with France. And then once the time comes, like, once one of our colonies is freed up, and once we've, like, gotten a good position over here in America, then I'll go and go send them down there. Angelica Mission! Yes! Good news! That's good. <laughs> I love those kind of events. They're, like, the best in this game, honestly. You don't have to... Not many things go wrong, and everything goes right. And it seems like we are still very much... <sighs> oh, gosh. We are... Like, new Monarch? Who has a new Monarch? Brunswick, good job for you guys. <laughs> uh, good job. The nations of Scandin. Oh gosh. So let's see. What are the major powers of the world right now? Blue awkward. Oh, we're gonna lose stability, aren't we? Yep. We're gonna lose stability. And it's not even. It's not even permanent. Okay. Let's do that. And then let's go right here. Lose back up stability. There we go. Yeah, I can do, yeah, I have an empire right now, so it's a very good idea that I do not lower my stability at all. Otherwise, I could cause problems. Like, seriously bad problems. I mean, I don't think we could deal with it. And I've just improved my relationship with France the utmost. So once my diplomat comes back, okay? I'm gonna see if I can now, like, get what I want. Why can't I get this? 
what's happening here that's preventing it. And France is a colonial power. France is a opinion about Scandinavia. France hostile attitudes towards Scandinavia. Alright, so you guys just... So maybe you guys are not the best people to get military access to it. Maybe Swahili will give me fleet bearing rights. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. What are you guys... Well, you guys just hate me because of opinion. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna ask you guys to help me colonize you guys for later. Oh, this is so mean. I'm asking them to basically seal their death sentence. Oh, guys, I, I, this is this is a mean move, but I'm just gonna see if they're gonna like it. Let's see. Improve your relationship with Sonic Maybe they'll become much more friendly with me. Oh, gosh. And after this, I think I'm going to. Uh, ooh, we could do some new tech! New tech! Yes! Level 18! Now we got even more tech and we're more advanced and. Wow, everything just goes so great. And can place a merchant research at one. Oh gosh, this is such a great like thing. And hmm, I could possibly get an alliance with Lithuania too. I don't have enough diplomats to send right now. Let me improve my relationships with Swahili before I deal with that. And my colony of of Conroy just expanded, and the Zapotecs just tried to revolt. Go destroy them. All right, and I think oh. Yes, okay, so I have enough room to move now. And where should I move? Let's go right here. Okay, because we're gonna we have to be right next to the British when they start trying to do stuff. And the Aztecs have started a coalition against us. Well, I don't think that's gonna work, guys. I honestly don't think that's gonna work. This is gonna harm you more than it's gonna harm me. I'm just saying that right now. Just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to save you guys from long headaches, but you guys are not gonna beat me in any type of war. No way, no how. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, and let's see. Alright, new tech? Yes! 18 tech on that. I think we got some new uh, stuff, so let's get that. New Creole, Galloping Army, and Galloping Leather Cannons. An entirely new army, that is so rad. And let's see, our treasury, let's see. How much are we making per turn? We have to increase by level 13. I hope that happens because we have to really take up in that. Disputed succession in these two places I don't care about. Uh, national acts I can pass. The Suffrage Act. Uh, no, I'm not going to affect my national tax modifier. That's kind of stupid. Um, and I could build some more forts. Let me just make sure all level 2 forts are built. That's the only thing I always want to be built because, yeah, level 2 forts are probably the biggest problem ever to build. Just gonna say that now. Cause they are like uh, the angelical angelic union. So the Holy Roman Empire has a fragile balance split between ten major and nearly what is it what does this mean? So I either get good relationships or I get hated relationships with most of the world and I get good relationships with most of the other world or I stay neutral. Uh you know what I never stay neutral in these kind of things so prepare wait what? Okay, I have to actually read this event, because I seems like I'm prepared to join something. The Holy Roman Empire has a, 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 a minor states and principles as well as two opposing religions. The power of the empire is quite limited beyond the direct dominions and erratic, inconsistent behavior of some, as we have increased frictions in 1608. The Protestant city of Dent refused Catholics the right to practice a cult and is banned from the empire. As a reaction, most German Protestants started to form the angelic community to defend their freedom. So basically, I think this is asking me to fight against everyone that is hateful towards the Protestant faith. And you know what? Because, oh god, and because the Pope says himself that the Protestants are right, we will join this. Oh gosh, I can't, I still can't believe that the Pope is, is Protestant in this game. Like, that is probably one of the biggest, like, what the heck moments you're ever going to deal with in this. An alliance from Bohemia. I could get back my alliance with Bohemia, but I feel like, honestly, I feel like Bohemia is a little bit too weak for me. As an alliance, I mean, I mean, they are about the same tech group as me, but I don't know. You know what I mean, guys? It feels like I'd be more helping them in most of their wars than them helping me. And if, if we're gonna have an alliance with the alliance I have right now, Fonks, do I still have an alliance with Fonks? Yes, I do. If I'm going to be in lines with faults, then I want to make sure it's equal, we're pulling out equal weight, so... It seems like there's another rebellion, go to it. Uh, it's a good thing it's all helping out over here, because... 
I don't think these guys could, like, fight me any other way. Grand Noble Deeds or... Ooh. This is gonna make me bankrupt. But... That just made me angry. <laughs> This made me seriously angry. I'm gonna go put my soldiers over here, just in case that the uh, if my colony dies, which I don't want it to. I'm not gonna attack the natives until they do their native uprising. Okay, seems like it's time to go kill the natives. No, I don't really like to do this. And there we go. Gosh, I just wish they were just like my king. Oh no. Do you hate me now, Britain? Hostile. Yep, I hate this. This is the bug or some kind of stupid diplomatic thing that goes on where, like, for some reason they just switch automatically from being happy and jolly with you to being hateful and scorning. It's like, what, 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 what? What did I do? I don't know. They, they don't ever tell you why. They're just like, nope, now we hate you. Ho, 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 ho. It's like, what the heck? All right. Well, I'm gonna need to make some new alliances now that now that that's happened um, over here in Kakua. I'm gonna start coring it. Oh yeah, I forgot to start coring some stuff over here too. Let's see, is anything I need to core? Not yet. What colony finished? Let's see. I should have a little bit of overextension right now. Let's see. Go to here. Overextension. Manage. No, I'm making most of my cores, so that's not the problem. All right, and. Over here, this colony is going as fast as it can. Um, you know, if I could possibly like block them up right like, here, then I basically could like, um, and, like, I could rush this colony right here. That'd be great. Um, but hmm. we also need to kind of worry about colonies over here too. You know what? Let's finally get the rest of Spanish land done with. Oh wait. All of our colonies. There we go. Let's finally get. Should we get the rest of Spanish land done with, or should we get this? You know what? This is a good base tax. Let's get this colony. <laughs> yeah, he has a good base tax. So I'm gonna go colonize it. Um. But yeah, it seems like. It seems like um. Um, Britain's now gonna be my enemy in this game, which makes no entire sense to me at all. So it seems like I'm going to have to find a different alliance. Um, Spain. Spain would not be a bad alliance, actually. Um, how would you guys feel about an alliance with me? Um, they hate me. They would not really like it. They're hostile to me. Over here, these guys are... Their attitudes towards... As a human player, their attitudes towards the villain is entirely different to them. Attitudes towards threatened. So they just feel threatened. Okay, so I do need kind of a new alliance. Alright, you know what? Bohemia will go back to you guys, since you guys are the only people that will actually accept it. So I'm going to quickly stop improving relationships with Swahili. Uh, gain a core in the Zapotex, that's good. Should help us with a lot of problems we have down there. Uh, give it a second, our diplomat's going to take a really long time. It takes a long time to send a diplomat all the way to, to Swahili. And conversion successful! Another converted land! So now let's keep converting. Let's start converting more of the Zapotex land. Because it's like the easiest land to convert. And I still got some of these old, old, like, reformed places. And I still got one Catholic province. Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, but they're almost all gone, and now I have a diplomat. Bohemia, would you like to become allies? Sure. Yeah. We could, be, we could, we could become allies again. And let's see, is there anyone else I could probably get an alliance with? Lithuania? Hmm. Lithuania is an ally. That actually would not be bad. Lithuania, I'll be your ally. Holy shoot. Yeah. They seem to be doing a lot, so is that Muscovy? Yeah, Muscovy. Muscovy hates me. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Muscovy is not. They're at war with the Livonian Order. I think they're coming in to go take over Novgorod. Which is fine by me, I don't really care about Novgorod. It's not really my one of my most important provinces, so and yeah, they can go take that, I don't really care. And now they got a free diplomat again. And now that England's gonna hate me though. It's kinda sad that England's gonna hate me. It seems like I may actually have to go to war with them. Which is something I didn't really want to do. I was trying to avoid that. Okay, let me just see. I wanna see. How much more do I need? No. Well they're getting they were getting pretty happy with me, so 
I think I could probably, it seems like I could probably get these guys to uh, change their mind about me. Let's see. I just have to find out where economic action, send a gift. Oh, wait, let me just improve relationships to, to the max. And then I'll go send a gift to them. And then from there, then I'll like, get like free access with them. So then I can just go colonize like right about here. And then use that army and then we're going to go conquer them. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to send more people over there, and now that since I've converted some of this land, I should start converting some of the culture to Swedish. Because as we all know, I'm very much not culturally, I'm very much not culturally aware or very mindful of other cultures. It's either you convert to me or I will destroy you. <laughs> uh, just ask the shamanist. Who the shamanist everyone asks? We don't know anymore. <laughs> And that, with that note, everyone, I will be ending today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.